Uh, with just two games to go in the regular season for high school football teams, district titles on the line tonight for several Big Ben squads. A win and bragging rights belong to them. The Thomasville Bulldogs not worried about winning a region title tonight because they've already done so tonight. All about capping off the regular season with a win. Region titles on the line for a lot of other South Georgia teams, though. We're talking about all of that and so much more. Friday Night Overtime starts right now. ABC 27 Friday Night Overtime. What's up, everybody? It is week number 11 of the high school football season in Georgia. Week 10 in Florida. Where did the time <laughs> go? And after tonight, we've just got one more week to play football. Yeah, a lot of teams playing for district and region titles tonight. Others looking to bolster their position when it comes to that postseason. Oh, yeah. Thomasville captured the program's 31st region championship last week. So tonight's game against Crisp County, all about sending out this senior class mm -hmm. with a big win. Absolutely. Head coach Jonathan DeLay said they were also treating it like the postseason, keeping their goals in front of them, staying 1 and 0 oh each week. Easy peasy. And that all starts tonight. Crisp County at Thomasville. It's our Friday night overtime game of the week. This team started the season. Season one and three, they're on a five game win streak heading into tonight. And it was senior night for the guys, one of the hottest teams in AAA and the state hoping to keep it that way. And they would on drive number one, the give going to Levante Cole and he finds a whole lot of running room deep in the Cougar territory down inside the five yard line. And that would lead to this Jay Randall out of that wild, wild dog, dog and he <laughs> is in Thomasville. <laughs> Leads it seven to nothing. But after a Chris County touchdown football, the home team goes back to work. Cole this time out of the dog, out of the wild <laughs> dog, and he is in. Thomasville goes ahead 14 to nothing. We'll jump ahead now. 21 nothing. The dogs defense strikes a tough night for the boys in white. Randall picking off the pass. And he will take it all the way. Allison, how about 28 to nothing Ooh, there? there he goes. And that would make it 44 to nothing. A final for Thomasville tonight as they continue to roll. Big matchup going down in 7A at the Bays tonight. Colquitt County can win the Region 1 title with a victory over Valdosta. The Cats got to have a little bit of help if they were to win. Fun start for the Cats defense. Eric Brantley and company stonewalling the back. This one saw a lot of defense early as the home team was just as good. Todd Robinson rolling and Nicholas Pace chases him down for the sack. But the Cat defense punching back later. Nico Fan looking deep downfield, but he is picked off. Khalil Malloy making that grab. A low scoring game for a while, but the pack too much too late. They get the win 24 to 6. In GIAA ball, Brookwood a perfect 3 0 in region play. A win tonight and a Deerfield win over Valwood, and they are region champs. And the guys looking good early. Roger Waldrop finding TJ Thomas, and he finds the outside, there he goes. and he will break free. The, the Warriors week, week. lead early. Yeah, he was not done. <laughs> the play of the week winner. I was getting to oh, it. My bad. Now 14 to 7. <laughs> Brookwood Thomas this time off the More handoff the finds the lane. 61 yards. He will go. There the Warriors goes. go up 20 to 7, and they win big tonight. 41 to 28. Out of J.D. Jones Stadium tonight, a big 2S District 4 matchup between Wakulla and Swanee. Both teams 1-0 in district play. The Dogs red hot, winners of four straight games, while Wakulla coming off that tough loss to NFC, so looking to rebound. This game big, too, because the winner of this one wins a district championship. Second quarter, Swanee up 12-7 and adding to it, Bronson Tillotson finding Kadarian Ivy for the touchdown pass. Swanee moves in front. 19 to 7, but Wakulla, don't count them out. <laughs> Cutting into that lead before the half. Quarterback Owen Cleese throwing it up to guess who? Samron Brinson, who mosses the Whoa. defender for the touchdown catch. Nasty. Wakulla trails 14 19 at the break. Ahead to the fourth quarter now. The only second half points coming from made field goals by Swanee's kicker Braxton Green, and that is big because that's the difference in this game. It's 22 to 14. Cleese with a last look, but Swanee. Picking it off for the dub. The Bulldogs are your district champions. Huge win for the guys, 22 to 14. 
Same situation in one suburban district one winner between undefeated North Florida Christian and Monroe wins a title. The Bobcats hosted the undefeated Eagles at Corey Field back and forth all night long. JP Pickles to Terry Arnold there. A short touchdown pass Monroe. They would get their offense in gear. Luke Sada to Amari Borden. And then later, how about the fate? The hold go. on. The Eagles. Look at the nice face there. Yeah. Holding on to that late lead. This one, a wild, just high scoring affair. 56 to 40, though. NFC stays perfect tonight. In the same situation in Tallahassee, St. John Paul II at home taking on FAMU DRS. The winner claiming the one Suburban District 2 title. Panthers on offense. Check this. Tremaine Hughes. Looks like this play isn't going anywhere, but uh, just kidding. He runs <laughs> to the opposite sideline, takes it all the way back for the touchdown. How about a little defense, too? We like that offense, but uh, we like the defense, too. Panthers, Julian Mills picking it off. He can't take it all the way back, but they score soon after. St. JP2 finds the end zone a lot tonight. 67 to nothing, the final. Panthers are your district champs. We've got a whole lot more coming up, guys. Stay with us. Cheerleaders, take us to break. Time the Lincoln Trojan Band, our band of the week, and in the Halloween spirit, too. We love that. There was an inflatable <laughs> dinosaur, which is always my favorite. We'll get to Lincoln in a little bit. We got to get back to these district and region races. Yeah, big night for a lot of teams, including Rickards, who sits 1 0 in three suburban district two. A win tonight over Arnold, and the district title belongs to the Raiders. A win tonight also guarantees the Raiders a spot in the postseason. Already up seven, the Raiders on the attack. Rico Watkins breaking outside the tackles, and he is gone. He a 55-yard house call. Rickards goes up 14-0. Same quarter, same story. This time, the handoff to Kamarian battles, and he bulldozes his way past a couple of Marlins, and then he cruises in. It's 21-0, 34-6, your halftime score. How about Rickards, a district title? Not bad. Florida High has won 2S District 3. Godby and Gadsden County playing for second tonight. We pick up the action in the second quarter. Gadsden holding a 7-6 lead on fourth down. Christian Sims runs it in, giving the visiting Cougars a 12-7 lead. Cougars took the five-point lead into the half in the third. Following a miss, Gadsden County field goal. Gobby struck from the air. Sims connecting with his receiver for the score to up that Gobby lead to 18 to 7. And the Cougars, they get a big win tonight, guys. 24 to 14 over Gadsden County. A lot on the line for Jason Colley and McClay tonight, hosting Rocky Bayou. A win, and the Marauders are most likely in the postseason. Up 35 already. Shane Croston coming up with the big INT. Start of the fourth, though, same drive, handoff to Will Templeton, who shakes his defender here, and he's going to tow oh, the sideline so all the way in for the <laughs> score. The Marauders jump in front 42 to nothing, and they race away with a big, big win tonight, and they maybe, hopefully, are playing postseason ball. Hopefully. Now, when you talk about the postseason, you can't leave Lincoln out. The Trojans 5-3 and three, entering a tough non-district matchup with Dillard. And we mentioned tough matchups because their schedule this year is full of them. Trailing Dillard 7-0 here in the second quarter. And how about this defense? Gap and James bringing down the quarterback who coughs it up. Ladarian Dudley falls on it to secure it for the Trojans. Lincoln making the most of this, too. The handoff to Demetrix Steve who is in easy for the touchdown. We got ourselves a tie ball game, but Lincoln's offense would sputter after that. Dillard outpaces the Trojans the rest of the way. 35 to 10, the final score. Non-region game in Donaldsonville, Seminole County hosting Terrell County. Second half, Seminole up 13 on the fumble recovered by oh. the Indians. And that would lead to this touchdown run upcoming by Devin Gale. He's going to get the handoff and he's going to find a lane to the end zone. Goes. That makes it 20 to nothing. Big win for the Indians tonight as they cruise over Terrell County. 
Thomas County Central 8, perfect 8-0 eight on the year, entering tonight's matchup with Lee County in the driver's seat to win a region title. Remember, this team moved up to 6A this offseason and proving to people 4A or 6A, we're here to win. So to Leesburg we go and we got a good one. Lee County striking first. That is Braxton Honer and he will not be caught. The Trojans would lead this one early 10 to nothing, but the Jackets would battle back on the other end, getting tricked. Ricky Allison, a double pass, <laughs> and they find wide open Malachi Thomas nice. for six. So TCC is on the board, but the road team not done later. How about another trick play? This time the reverse to okay. pass finds I Adam Hopkins you. all alone. He is in this one back and forth, 17 all at the half. But the Jackets get it done. 39 to 30, your final. At Bainbridge, honoring the 40 year anniversary since that 1982 state championship. Check out those state champs. Big night for the Bearcats, too, putting on a show. A win over Hardaway sets them up to battle for the region championship against Cairo next week. Travis Freeman doing work right into your living room. <laughs> it's 7 0. Later in the first, Keenan Phillips going to find the gap and he finds pay dirt. It's 14 0. Your Bearcats, they create Cruz 42 to nothing the final score so uh, that region championship oh, yeah. going to be next week against Cairo. Now maybe Friday night but Lanier County softball looking to make a little bit of history in Columbus looking to win their very first state title. In the final four in single A division two taking on Emanuel County today a win and they're in tomorrow state title game. And they get it done <laughs> and uh, how about a way to win it too. Bottom 10 that was JC Newsom the walk off sack fly. Briley Burkhalter she tags, slides into home for the go ahead. Three to two, the final score. So that state championship game is tomorrow at one o'clock. And because mm -hmm. they're three and oh, perfect, <laughs> they have to be beaten twice. Mm -hmm. Got to win one more game, and they're bringing home that state championship. First time in the program's history. First time too. in the program's history. You want to watch football again? Check out the website, WTXL.TV.